So this is our life. Four kids, two cats, a widowed father under our roof, and a dog named Booker. Living a simple suburbia life, working nine to five, but wishing we had way more time to spend as a family together focusing on what's important and trying to spend as much time as we can in the sun. How do we make it through? The sunny days. Every day is a story, a chronicle, another day of life's adventures. How we make it through is different for everyone. This is life through our eyes. Well, here we go. First overnight in the RV. And we're heading quite a ways south down the Mississippi River to a town called Winona. Nope, no more planes for us. At least not for a while. There's quite a bit to see on the way, so we're gonna make a few stops at some scenic overlooks and we'll see what else we can find. first stop was Vermilion Falls. We've never been here, barely even heard about the place. But somebody said something about a waterfall, so we were sold. One thing about our dog Booker, he really hates water. He's really afraid of it. It's kind of unusual for a dog. So a massive waterfall really scared the heck out of him. This was definitely a cool spot to explore. And Booker finally found a place to chill. We even caught Camden learning some of the camera tricks. He did a pretty good job too. Well, back on the road. Let's see what we can find next. Oh, look at this up here. It's like a round stone lookout. This was the Red Wing Overlook. It's a pretty cool park in here. Booking like running around here. Heck yeah. Check out that view. Uh, I'm gonna park right over here. And I just might think it's a perfect spot for some great drone footage.
Well, back on the road to our final destination. We made this huge crawl up the hill to the Garvin Heights Winery to meet Linda and Marvin, the owners. They were very welcoming. There were already two other RVs there, a big Class A and a pull behind, both involved with this unique boondocking experience that we're doing. And for those of you who don't know what boondocking is, it basically means you're solely living off of the grid. There's no electricity, water, or sewer hookups at these locations, so you need to have your own toilet with gray and black water tanks and running off of your batteries or the generator, but only at certain times because they want to keep the volume level down at some of these locations. And in our case, we're trickling in some sun through the solar panels. They had a small area reserved right next to the vineyard for smaller RVs like ours. Our 24-footer fit just perfect. The big Class A was actually a toy hauler with a couple of motorcycles in the back. The couple was from upstate New York, but they were traveling around the U.S. After we got situated, it was time to go in and check in. Then it was off to explore the vineyard. first time in a vineyard. So this RV membership that we are a part of allows us to stay in it's about 1,200 different locations across the U.S. One flat fee, and most of them are vineyards. Uh, it's, it's, you know, these owners have opened the place up. Vineyards, breweries, museums, farms. And in this case, we're at Garvin Heights Winery. And we were able to park the RV right next to the actual vineyard and spend the night. It was absolutely surreal, just, all you hear is crickets and nothing. It was beautiful. It wasn't like an RV park or even a campground where there's a bunch of background noise. I mean, this was just picturesque. I mean, it doesn't matter that the sun isn't out right now. It's kind of cloudy, but... Um, Magnificent. We will definitely be using that to our full advantage and uh, spending many more nights in vineyards across the U.S.
the owners have allowed us to walk right through their vineyard, open up their gates. Obviously we're guests here uh, staying the night. There are a couple other RVs here, uh, kind of different spots on the other side of their actual winery. So we have this nice little private secluded area. There was a fire pit last night. Had a little bonfire. All I can say is, what an absolutely fantastic weekend. This is RV Living.